In the deep, untouched nooks of the Philippine jungles glides a majestic and enigmatic presence. Towering at a meter in height, with wings stretching over two meters, and a big, bold bill coupled with dagger-like talons embodying the level of predatory skill that places it at the top of its domain. Standing as the embodiment of nature's most cunning design, with only 250 pairs remaining in the world, it is not only the largest, but also the rarest of its kind on the planet. Meet the crowned monkey slayer of the sky, the Philippine Eagle. The Pithecophaga of Jeferi, commonly known as the Great Philippine Eagle or the Monkey-Eating Eagle, claims the title of the world's rarest and largest eagle, a testament to its extraordinary length and expansive wing surface. Belonging to the Exipitidrae family, this magnificent avian marvel is exclusive to the Philippines, an archipelago comprising 7,000 islands. However, within this vast island chain, the Great Philippine Eagle predominantly reigns over four main islands, Eastern Luzon, Samar, Laite, and Mindanao, with its dominion extending over diverse landscapes, from the lowland realms to the lofty heights of mountains surpassing elevations of 5,900 feet. As the name monkey-eating eagle suggests, these regal birds were believed to exclusively feast upon monkeys, with a particular penchant for the Philippine long-tailed macaque and the common long-tailed macaque, the solitary monkey species indigenous to the Philippines. The genesis of this perception lay in the examination of the inaugural specimen of Philippine eagles, where its stomach revealed undigested monkey remnants. Yet, as the narrative unfolded, it was revealed that these eagles are connoisseurs of the wild, selectively choosing their prey based on local popularity and convenient accessibility. And, being the undisputed kings of their turf, they rule the roost as apex predators, especially when there's no rival daring to challenge their dominion. With a wink and a beak, they've earned the reputation of devouring anything that crosses their territory, within a specified weight and size range, of course. An in-depth analysis of the eagle's nesting habits reveals a diverse palette of prey, from munching on petite bats to tackling hefty Philippine deer up to 30 pounds. Within this weight spectrum, the focal prey often comprises Philippine flying lemurs, constituting up to 90% of the raptor's diet in certain locales. Yet the dynamics shift a bit as we traverse from one island to another, particularly in Luzon and Mindanao, owing to distinct faunal regions. In Mindanao, flying lemurs dominate as preferred prey, whereas in Luzon, their absence leads the eagles targeting macaques, reptiles, and sizable giant cloud rats, weighing twice as much as lemurs. Across diverse regions, the eagle's menu extends to civets, flying squirrels, tree squirrels, flying foxes, rats, owls, hawks, hornbills, snakes, monitor lizards, domestic fowls, young pigs, small dogs, and deer. In the pursuit of this diverse menu, the Philippine eagle employs an arsenal of hunting techniques, each more mesmerizing than the last. For instance, the method of still hunting comes into play for basic level prey, involving a patient observation of prey activity while perched almost motionless on a branch near the canopy. Conversely, capturing nocturnal prey like flying lemurs, which utilize daytime camouflage, necessitates perch hunting. This entails gliding between perches periodically, gradually descending from the canopy. In cases of unsuccessful forays, eagles may fly or circle back to the treetop for another attempt. Similarly, when targeting monkeys, especially troops, the eagles employ cooperative hunting, where one eagle perches nearby to distract the primates, enabling the other to swoop in for the kill from behind while being unnoticed. Given the native macaque's aggressive nature and comparable size to the eagle, or even larger, this type of prey presents a potential hazard where struggles can ensue, leading to injuries or, in some cases, resulting in the eagle's fall. Like this pair of Philippine eagles meticulously strategizing to capture a young monkey from its protective mother, one eagle skillfully hovers above the treetops, diverting the attention of the adult primate while its partner stealthily approaches the unsuspecting prey, seizing the opportune moment when the watchful parent is momentarily absent the eagle snatches the infant primate and returns to its nest, where the eaglets eagerly await their meal. Yet, during the feeding process, the eagles sometimes inadvertently force pieces of flesh with bones down into the chicks' crops, overwhelming their capacity to handle such sustenance. This unintentional action leads to a tragic outcome, as the chicks, unable to cope, choke on the nourishment, succumbing to an untimely fate. Besides its diverse feeding and hunting habits, what truly sets the Philippine eagle apart is its extraordinary appearance the regal bird wears a crown of lengthy brown plumage on its nape, 
creating a shaggy, mane-like crest that adds to its mystique. Moreover, the dorsal side of this avian monarch is draped in a deep brown cloak, while the ventral side and underwings unveil a pristine white canvas, adding to its aura of dominance. The Philippine eagle sports robust yellow legs that house formidable dagger-like talons that act like weapons of precision in its predatory pursuits. But the true spectacle here lies in the unique blue-gray eyes, a mesmerizing feature that underscores its singular beauty. Size, too, becomes a testament to its grandeur. The numbers speak volumes here, with reported length to measure between 2.8 feet to 3.4 feet in total. However, a comprehensive survey of specimens from some of the world's largest natural history collections reveal an average length of 3.1 for males and 3.5 for females. Remarkably, this positions the Philippine eagle as the longest extant eagle species, with the female's average length matching the maximum reported for the harpy eagle and stellar sea eagle. One extraordinary specimen from the Field Museum of Natural History extends this avian grandeur even further, measuring an astonishing 3.6 feet, which is a length unparalleled amongst living eagles, second only to the extinct host eagle. Generally, with Philippine eagles, the degree of sexual dimorphism in size remains uncertain, but there is a prevailing belief that males are typically about 10% smaller than their female counterparts. Now, this stands in contrast to many other large eagle species, where the size disparity between adult males and females can surpass 20%. Adult Philippine eagles exhibit a weight range of 10.4 to 17.6 pounds, flaunting a wingspan from 6 to 7.3 feet, and a wing cord length ranging from 22.6 to 24.2 inches. And then there's the bill. Big, bold, laterally compressed, rivaling the size of Stellar's sea eagle, securing its position as the largest bill amongst extant eagles, averaging 2.84 inches in length from the gape. And just when you thought it was over, the Tarsus stole the spotlight being the longest amongst eagles, measuring from 4.8 to 5.7 inches. The Philippine eagle is an exceptionally rare species. In fact, it is one of the defining traits that adds to the majestic aura surrounding this remarkable bird. This extraordinary rarity is largely attributed to the bird's distinctive breeding requirements. Each of the Philippines' eagles' breeding pairs requires a substantial 51 square miles home range for successful chick rearing, rendering the species highly susceptible to deforestation, primarily induced by logging and expanding agriculture. Moreover, their encounters with humans often prove fatal, as these magnificent birds are subjected to shootings, captures for public or private display, and inadvertent harm in traps or snares intended for other species. For this reason, the act of taking the life of a Philippine eagle has been designated as a criminal offense, carrying legal consequences such as imprisonment for a maximum of 12 years and substantial fines. However, despite human activities pushing them to the brink of extinction, the majestic Philippine eagle, in a paradoxical turn, poses no significant threat to humans, with zero reported accounts of attacks. The IUCN Red List discloses a disheartening population estimate of 180 to 500 mature individuals translating to around 250 to 750 individuals in total, classifying them as critically endangered, while the numbers still face a downward trajectory. That is, if that's not enough, the Philippine eagle's reproductive cycle unfolds over an extensive two-year span, yielding just one or rarely two eggs, exacerbating their susceptibility to extinction. Around eight to 10 days before dropping her egg, the female Philippine eagle goes through a thing called egg lethargy, it's a phase where she's not into eating, chugs down a bunch of water, and lets her wings hang low. Typically, sexual maturity is attained at five years for females and seven years for males. These eagles are the monogamous types, meaning that they form pairs, and that is a lifelong bond. Unless one of the partners dies, the surviving eagle then seeks a new mate. Now, to show that they're in the mood for courtship, these eagles start bringing home nesting materials, followed by a repeated copulation on the nest in nearby perches. But the real show happens in the air, with fancy moves like soaring together over their turf, with the male chasing the female in a nosedive, and a mutual talon presentation where the male extends his talons to the female's back, prompting her to flip over midair and present her talons. Throughout this courtship phase, Philippine eagles engage in vocal communication, emitting loud, high-pitched whistles with inflections in pitch. Their nest, by the way, is usually very high up on a tall tree with a broad crown, looking like a massive stick platform. Both partners are tag team in feeding their little eaglet. Plus, they take turns playing babysitter, shielding the youngster from the weather until it hits seven weeks. The young eagle takes its first flight after four or five months and becomes a successful hunter about 300 days after hatching. Just your average, everyday parenting routine. No big deal. 
Anyways, thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.